Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Welcome to the next episode of this amazing chest workout, part three, on the body beatdown with me, Michael. Your incredible host, guys. Part three, guys. Now keep in mind, this was one video shot all in one day. And it was meant to be one video, but I went ahead and broke it up into three parts because the video was a little long and I don't like to keep people watching things for too long because we don't have a, a great attention span these days. So uh, my first video was flat dumbbell presses. The second video was incline Smith machine presses. This video here focuses on incline dumbbell flies make sure i'm saying it correctly incline dumbbell flies and we're gonna discuss a few of the slight uh, differences and changes that you can do to the dumbbells in your hands uh, to put a different feeling uh, into the workout and to your shoulders and your chest and everything and different positions and all kinds of good stuff just pay attention watch enjoy hope you get something out of it if not I'm sorry I tried my best. If you did, hey, leave me something in the comments, or even if you didn't, leave something in the comments. Let me know what I could do better. Tell me how much you hate me. Tell me how, how much you appreciate me. I don't care. Just enjoy, okay? Do something. So let's get on to this cool movement that we're gonna do and uh, discuss along the way as best we can, guys. Let's get going. Okay, so I got the 50s. We're gonna try and capture a little bit of the moments, okay? All right, guys, right here's where we're gonna end the workout session. And I'm just gonna to talk to you just a moment about the dumbbell fly. And I got an empty bar here. And whenever I tell you about minute movements making all the difference in the world, when, I'm, when I am uh, doing the movement, this bar in my hand could either sit here on my palm or it may sit up more flat inside my palm or it might go more into the fingers like so. so you have all this room in here to move and for the bar to twist and turn and every single thing that you do with that movement it feels totally different if you add that into uh, keeping the arms more bent and coming up like this or extending the arms a little bit more and coming out like this, or maybe uh, having the arms bent as you come down and then extend out and get a bigger contraction in the chest. All of that mixed with all these slight minute movements of that dumbbell, all the difference in the world, guys. And you might hold it here or you might hold it more down here or it might be more up here or anywhere all in between. That's what makes uh, dumbbell flies really cool. 
And uh, even machine flies, you know, you can you have some varying uh, uh, degrees of uh, maneuverability on those as well. So I just wanted to kind of explain that just a little bit more. And it's something you have to experience and experiment with. And I think you're going to really uh, start enjoying flies more. So try to get the most out of your movements uh, while you're in the gym, because we're there to get the work done and make improvements or at least you know, stay on a nice steady track. Uh, and so we want to make sure we do things uh, right, kind of quote unquote right, you know, finding different uh, ways of working the muscle. So uh, this video's went on long enough and I appreciate you being here. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get my workout done. I still have two more sets of flies to do. I just wanted to stop here, explain a little bit and close out the video. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, that was a good workout for me, and uh, this was an uh, uh, interesting idea to go ahead and break up this long video into three sections. I hope you got something out of it. Go check out the other uh, parts of the video, parts one and two. And uh, hey, while you're at it, don't forget, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. We're here to help beat the body down and uh, to get through another day and be an inspiration uh, not only to others, but to ourselves, because we can't inspire others until we inspire ourselves. And while you're at it, guys, go ahead and check out these shirts. These shirts are amazing. They mean a lot to me. It's my logo. It's my brand. It's my saying. And uh, I'd like to see them out on 10 billion people. Wait, there's only 8 billion people in the world. So uh, we'll, we'll have a little bit of a surplus there. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And uh, leave some comments down there. Let me know what you think, either good or bad. It's all good, and I appreciate it. All right? Don't forget, get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it. Now, go be awesome and work out your chest. Yeah. Get up, get out, get rad.